Hello all you beautiful people, my name is Fox and welcome to yet another DICE video, however this one is just a little bit different. So I got a message on YouTube from a company by the name of Paladin Roleplaying and they said they wanted to send me some DICE to review. Now I get messages like these every now and then and I tend to ignore them simply because I trust no one or nothing. I still think one day this table will become animated and kill me. Um, but I said yes for two reasons. First off, because I love DICE, you love DICE. He, she, me loves dice. Shit, even Rush loves dice. Roll the bones! But I also said yes because I researched them a little bit, and it turns out they actually sell good stuff. Uh, they sell metal dice, acrylic dice, pouches, things of that nature. Their link is going to be in my description. They didn't ask me to do that, but I'm doing that as a thank you, essentially, uh, if you want to check out what they sell. They didn't send me metal dice for a few reasons. They know my opinion on metal tins. I don't like them, um, although it seems like they do it right. They add a little bit of extra padding inside so the dice don't clang around. But um, they did send me possibly one of the most beautiful acrylic sets I've ever seen. Uh, and I am here to show it to you. But before I do that, we cannot roll dice on plastic mats. It doesn't sound good. So instead, I have this. A slice of wood. I like the term slice of wood, although it sounds weird. Because if you've ever heard dice roll on pure wood, you know that it is one of life's great pleasures. So before someone can comment, shut up and show me the dice, here are the dice. It is Paladin Role Playing's RGL Blue Black Krillisa F-9, also known as Zugaga F-9. I'm calling them Demir Drops, because I think that's a better name than this. Uh, yes, Demir Drops. They are black, blue, with gold lettering, and the term Demir Drops is something that I am proud I came up with. I like that name. So here we go. You ready to hear dice roll on wood? Well, first you gotta see this card. Free VIP club. Don't know what this is about. I guess this is their uh, Paladin Role Playing's VIP thing. It came with the dice. Turn over for special invitation. There's the invitation. So here we go. Ready to hear it? I'm gonna shut up. Uh, tell me that doesn't sound good. Wait, wait. Let's hear it one more time. That is a beautiful sound. One fell on the floor. God damn it, stop falling on the freaking floor. All right, Paladin Roleplaying. Dude, the dice keep falling on the floor. You gotta fix that. So yes, this is the Demir Drop dice. Now, I love the color of these dice. They are absolutely beautiful. The lettering is great because you can actually see it to a certain extent. I think maybe a darker gold or maybe even a lighter gold would have popped out a little bit more. However, you can still read them unlike a couple dice sets that I have where you absolutely cannot read them. Paizo, I'm talking to you. What the hell's with the RPG dice you made for uh, Pathfinder? They're poopy. So there aren't too many ways you can review dice, but uh, to kind of show them off, I made this little uh, cinematic thing. Enjoy. That took 16 hours to make. I am not a filmmaker. It is abundantly clear. So, thank you again to Paladin Roleplaying for sending me possibly one of my favorite dice. Mainly because I like the color and also because it's the first time a company actually had faith that I can review something accurately. And here is the cons of the dice now. So, while the dice are great, the letters are very seeable. They're not completely seeable. And also, some paint on a couple of the pips uh, isn't completely perfect. So, the 8 in that case is a little bit darker, although that's not a big deal. There's a couple of them where the paint is kind of chipping off on the uh, lettering. It's not fully painted. There's a couple of random trips, but that is a very minor problem. The big problem is this. The 18 on my D20 is just not filled in at all. Um, and that is a problem. So guys, I really hope that's just my dice. I haven't seen, they have a couple reviews specifically on this set and I haven't seen anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and say that was a fluke with my set. Although I find it amusing, <laughs> quite honestly. If I ever roll an 18, I'm calling it a ghost 18. Uh, and I do have like gold paint I can kind of color in there. So uh, it's really not the biggest deal. I mean, Zaki's dice don't even come painted. You have to paint in the pips yourself. So that is a very minor issue, but it is a really funny one. So uh, thank you for giving me that ghost 18. I really appreciate that. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and before I end this video, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of do this. Hold on. Let's move the wooden block of sound good. Here is one of my four dice collection trays. Here is the Paladin Role Playing Demir Drop set. By the way, I really hope you rename it Demir Drops. I would appreciate that. Thumbs up to rename this set the Demir Drops instead of Kazooka. Okay. Um, so, yes, yeah, it's going in my collection of dice. 
And very soon, guys, very, very soon, I will be giving you an updated video. Hold on. Of my incredibly sad, massive collection of dice. It's too many. It's too many here. I, I, it's a problem. It's a huge problem. I, I can't. I, I just can't help. Send help. Thank you for watching. Thanks again for Paladin Roleplaying for sending me the dice. Uh, their link will be in the description if you want to go buy their stuff. Their metal dice is actually awesome. I'm just not a fan of metal dice. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you later with more videos, but until then... Roll a